Welcome to the third and final lesson of the VOR. So today we're going to do the more complicated version for the VOR which is the inbound radial interception. But stick around and I'll make it for you as easy as possible. So just to recap where we are from our previous lesson, we flew the Lancia or the Lima India Victor outbound on a radial of about 210. Then we managed to get halfway and now we need to move over onto Gulf Alpha Victor and for this exercise we are gonna um, intercept the radial 030. And remember um, we can only use actually radials that is coming towards us and as the VOR is radiating or transmitting signals outwards from that matter. So to get Gulf Alpha Victor's uh, frequency, you can either click on the map on your simulator 115.50 or if you um, in the actual aircraft then you can look on your um, radio frequency chart or it's also printed on the VFR and IFR maps. So let's get started. Okay, so 115. So first things first, we are flying. There we've got land Syria set. Now we need to change over to 115.5. So we'll go ahead and set 115.5. Do a switch over and confirm our needle is active then again you're gonna go nav 1 then on your computer you should then hear that Morse code beeping confirm it is spelling out Gulf Alpha Victor once confirmed go ahead and turn off nav 1 get your needle centralized doesn't matter now if it's a from or to flag and then just go and turn it to 10 degrees out then it should be deflecting 10 degrees in between testing the other side then we see perfect we also got 10 degree deflection on top from there perfect so now we are need to intercept the 030 radial so this is where it's actually now getting a little bit complicated so remember on a previous lesson I told you that phrase from top to bottom so today we are going to work um, to bottom this means we did to set up the VR we're going to use the bottom section so we said from top so we're not using the front flag we need two and the bottom so you are now gonna turn your OBS until the VR flag is two and you're gonna set the radial 030 on the bottom so this is the confusing part right here this is all that you need to do at the bottom and then you don't have to look at the bottom part anymore then you just continue as usual which way is the um, VOR needle it is to the right meaning we need to fly to the right to intercept Perfect. So now again, once we set up, we need to be on a heading of about 210 now. Because this is the reciprocating heading of 030 radial. So to intercept, we can either go 60 degrees, 60 or 30, 30. So let's just go ahead and go 30 degrees. So 30 degrees. Um, added to 210 is going to give us 250 so where's 210 on our heading indicator there's 210 so we'll turn for a right turn onto heading 250 again we are then going to wait for the needle to show alive once it is alive we wait for off scale deflection where we will then turn in onto a heading of 210 to fly inbound on the radial 030 of Gulf Alpha Victor. 
Perfect, so now we'll just wait for that needle to come alive. It should start going shortly now. And then we'll turn it in momentarily. If you see in this instance it is taking a little bit too long for you, then you can advance it to a 60 degree turn in. So just to give you a little closer look of what is actually happening, there you can see we are now intercepting, so we are almost on a 030 radial, but we can go ahead and turn it into 60 degrees. So um, remember not to add now uh, 60 degrees from your current heading because we already got 30. So now we can actually apply 30 degrees more that puts us on 270. Okay, and with this also we're getting close to a VOR, so we should see the needle coming alive much quicker now. So we'll just wait for it. There the needle is alive, so now we can start actually turning back on 2210. Okay, there's half scale deflection. And now we'll just turn it in onto a heading of 210. waiting so as you can see just take your time to fly onto the radial okay we're almost getting be sorted now fantastic okay getting centralized and getting ourselves on a heading of 210 okay we're just waiting for wings level going Perfect. So now you are flying the radial 030 inbound to Golf Alpha Victor. Let me just quickly recap what has happened here. I'm going to pause the simulator for a minute. Um, what we've done, the only time that you work on the bottom of your VOR is when you set up your VOR. This is so you can actually turn the correct way. So if I say intercept the inbound, like now, 030 radial inbound for Golf Alpha Victor, say your phrase, from top to bottom. I'm not going from, I'm going to. So that me means I need a two flag. And bottom, meaning I need to set the given radial or the radial which I want to fly inbound to this VOR station at the bottom. Once you set up the flag and the radial at the bottom, now forget about this bottom part. That's just to set up your VOR. Now you read off your headings and to get your headings, look at what is the top um, heading situated on the VOR. It's going to tell you 210. So that means I'm flying on a heading of 210. But depending if I need to intercept uh, either left or right, I'm then going to either add 30 or 60 degrees to intercept. How do I know if I need to subtract or add? Simple. The needle will show you. If the needle goes out to the left, then that means if we're going to the left, that's anti-clockwise, meaning we need to subtract numbers. So let's say we were roughly with the aircraft roughly around about this side. Then the needle would have shown we needed to fly to the left. So then we would have taken on the heading indicator 210 minus either 30 degrees or 60 degrees will fly until it shows we have intercepted and then we'll turn back onto heading 210 and in this case in this example the needle was out to the right meaning it's going clockwise on our compass card which means we add because our 
numbers or headings are increasing so then we took 210 then we added 30 degrees and or either 60 degrees so and then once you intercept it you wait for the needle to uh, start uh, moving then you're going to call out needle alive once needles alive you wait for half scale deflection and then you're going to do a 15 degree or rate one turn to gently turn back onto your heading of 210 and as the same as with the outbound VOR if you are off by a little um, bit of track just five degrees to the left or five degrees to the right then you fly and wait for it until the needle is centered and also remember the closer you are getting to the VOR the quicker things are going to happen but when you are approximately um, anywhere where from two nautical miles or closer to the VOR just maintain your current heading because then you are going to get into the cone of confusion and that's it for the VOR interception last but not least once you've set up to fly to the station just in this case confirm that your distance is decreasing and keep those scans going if there's anything else drop me an email or submit a comment below and i'll get back to you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified as soon as the new and latest video of mine is uploaded have a lack a day